Here's the uh, video for um, rooting the um, Samsung Galaxy Nexus here with Verizon. And I'm going to get right into it. Um, pretty much just I'm showing you right from the desktop how you're going to do it. Um, so you need to be running Windows to use this program here. You can back apps up from here. You can unlock it. You can um, go ahead and go do the whole root process here. And you can back up your whole system and restore it all in this one application here. It's a uh, program that you're going to run. And I'll um, show you the website where you're going to get it from a second here. So you're going to go ahead and uh, get this running here. Open this up. This is what the program looks like. You're going to go ahead and um, see if you want to back it up, if you want to restore, list of devices. You're going to do flash, stock, on boot, unlock, root. you got to do that first. But um, we'll get right into this. Just uh, you click that support thread right there. And it'll bring you up here where pretty much this is the site. Uh, give credit to um, this is where I pull it from, Galaxy Nexus right here and this website and um, you can go ahead and download the program right down here and again it has to be on Windows to work so you're gonna go ahead and download that and then um, that's gonna give you everything you need to do the process in there and this is gonna, the program is gonna look like this once you open it up you go ahead and unlock first um, again this is um, gonna unlock your um, device you're gonna have to do this first and um, all instructions everything right in here just well make sure you take your time and you read read it carefully before you proceed to go and again, this will erase everything on here. So if you want to back it up, you want to back up before you go ahead and get to this process here on here. But um, okay, so that's pretty much it. And let's go get this going. Plug the device. Just make sure you got the USB debugging enabled. Also, you go ahead and um, go in your settings, and then you go ahead and enable that. From there, that's when you're gonna connect it. Get this uh, connected right here. And again, it's a pretty simple process here. It's nothing. This is the easiest method I've seen to do the um, root method on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Just go ahead and make sure it's connected. Get everything in. Um, you'll start seeing. I'll start listening the um, device. And just make sure you follow everything step by step. Definitely, definitely don't want to go ahead and change something that's supposed to then you gotta do the whole thing over again okay have to restart my device it's a real second to boot up here okay got it let's go ahead and run it there's the device listed you see the serial up there click yes once you see that showing up there I have parallels, so I have to select it and run on Windows again. Uh, kick my device off, I have to go ahead and uh, recognize it again. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Okay, just give it a second, let this come on and re get it. There you go. Alright. Let's see any fast boot drivers listed above. No. Give a second. I just put this phone on. It's trying to connect after the parallel switch to options. So you got to get past this before it recognizes it. Let that uh, go ahead and recognize it. Just insert a new device. Yeah, this is a one-time thing, so once you do this, and if you ever want to unroot it or send it back, you can do all that right here in the same program right here. All right, there's a serial. Right up there. Go ahead and continue. It's going to unlock the bootloader. So make sure you read the instructions here. I'm just highlighting over just the I'm doing it on the device as we're going through. So this is pretty much same time as the time it should take for the process to go through. So I'm doing it as we're I'm um, doing the process here. Let's go ahead and navigate that. It's the volume bars, you know, navigate use that to go up and down and change the selections. You press the power button to select it. Okay, wait for the device to boot up. So 
get that USB plugging back on. All right, got the device on, USB debugging. Now we're going to start to go to the root. All right, let's just recognize again, just boot it up here. Takes a little to get up here, get booting. Be just be patient. I'll go ahead and plug it out or anything with the battery, nothing like that. Sorry, parallels. And again, this is a one time, so once you do it once, it's on there. Even if you power it off, put it on, anything. So the root is on there, it's on there. You don't have to do it again. And again, it's going to allow you to put custom themes on here, ROMs, um, increase the performance of your phone. And um, pretty much, you can, if you have a unlimited data plan, you can use it as a hotspot, unlimited. Just do the uh, download the wireless tether. I'll have that in another video. Let this come up here. I'm actually running the uh, Jelly Bean ROM on here before it actually came released officially onto the uh, Nexus so I've been playing with it already and um, so overall it's great the best one but that's kind of an advantage as you can do just by having root access on your device and again this is voiding your warranty on here but again if anything goes wrong you don't want to do it you want to send it back to Verizon you can just go back and um, unroot the device same way in there the unroot selections in there same. All right. Now we got that. We can select root. Which device install the necessary files? Click recovery. It's pretty much straightforward. Just look over this. Just make sure follow instructions. Should be perfect. Should have no problems here. Just go straight right through. Make sure USB debugging is enabled to always transfer the information. There we go. That's important there. We have to see that show up there, that device number on there. If not, then you have to make sure the device plugged in correctly and everything to work. So once you see that shows up, then you go ahead and follow through. The root and let it do its work. Do you see a list above? Yes, I do. Go ahead and do one. Just let it go ahead and do the work. Going through the root process. All right. Let's make sure you just look only look over everything. Everything is pretty necessary to read through overall is just one two selections to get through they just kind of give you information just to make sure you get a little bit understanding what's going on here and give you some heads up but overall it works like a charm no problems run on any um, operating system you're on the Nexus Even if the new update came out, you can still use this root method with the uh, program here, the Galaxy Nexus root. All right, let's recognize this device again. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's 
go step by step. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go to work, use the volumes, and go to install zip. You're going to choose zip, and you're going to look at the super user zip on the device, and you're going to go ahead and select that. Make sure you go step by step in the instructions and it should be no problem. It's doing that as we're going here. All right. Let's go step by step. Make sure you have everything here. You can go look at your device and go through the walkthrough at the same time. That's one thing I'm just doing it. I'm doing a hands on instead of you guys having it done already. And then you can't kind of get the flow of how how long it takes and how the process looks step by step. If you guys like the video here, um a lot of work into this to make sure you guys get it and pretty straightforward and easy for you guys through the whole way go ahead and um, subscribe for more videos I'll be posting on Nexus with the ROM and the new jelly bean and everything and um, also some new hacks and everything for rooted devices uh, just go ahead and subscribe and um, if you like this video go ahead and like the video on here but I'll have more videos coming also for you guys so you can kind of get after you're rooted you can show what some cool things you can do to your phone on here. See how to add some themes, put some ROMs. Do a lot of a lot of different stuff. As I was run I'm running Jelly Bean before it's even released officially. It's pretty has the new Google search bar where you can just like pull it up your hand and it searches and it's kinda like Siri kinda but for Google. It's had a lot of a couple things they added in there. Okay. Now just follow this, make sure it's done, follow the step, okay, let's finish the work there, and there we go, let that go, alright, alright, and just go ahead and let it do the work, and it's good, And almost finished up here. Now you're going to install ROM Manager from the market. This is where you can um, back up your whole phone, your whole system, get a fresh um, system. Just in case anything ever go wrong, you can always go back to the stock, same point where you was at. Just go ahead and um, go and download that. And you can do backup and get your whole thing backed up. I'll put another video with ROM Manager and doing a backup on here also. So just go ahead and make sure you subscribe and like the video because I'll put more you'll get the um the extra part to kind of see the other direction too if you can't get past doing a um, backup on yourself if you want to see me do it first before you attempt it but it's nothing is pretty straightforward on there just gotta be careful but once you have a backup if you ever do anything wrong or your phone goes crazy or brick or whatever like if it gets stuck or boot loop or something you can always go back to that one point where you backed it up from. So that's why it's always good to have a backup at least one time you ever do it or attempt it on here. All right, almost got this finished on here. All right, and that's pretty much the um, whole process there of rooting the um, Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Didn't take too long, you just gotta make sure you go through step by step. And other than that, that is it, you're rooted. Go ahead and uh, like the uh, video if you like the video. and. Uh